Hello everybody. Hope you're having a really good morning, evening, day, whenever you're watching this video. This is Tracy Brown, your somatic nutrition therapist. And I just have a quick message about the good news. And so the good news is that even if you have felt like you didn't like your body or didn't trust your body for a really long time, the really good news is that we weren't born we were not born with this disgust of our bodies, with this ever overarching desire to change our bodies. It was learned. You know, and so little babies and little toddlers, they don't really have a sense of something is wrong with their bodies ever, whether they're the little ones or the bigger ones. They don't have a sense that something's wrong with them unless they're in an environment that basically tells them by either osmosis that like the smaller bodies are more praised or um, get more attention and the bigger bodies don't or maybe that was directly told to you and I'm really really sorry that th that has happened to you and so I want to say about that is that the tr do we, we learned that and we learned at a very vulnerable age where we didn't know any better but the good news is that since we learned it, and our brains are really, you know, plastic, we have neuroplasticity, and I know that it takes some time and it takes a lot of focus to do this, but the good news is that we can unlearn it. And the decision we, we do have to make is, what are we paying attention to? Who are we paying attention to? And when we have those old thoughts of like, something's wrong with my body, it's too big, it's too much, and we get in the spin, is that we do have to do something I call like, you know, stop the motor, capture those thoughts, and it's just a hard no, like no. I'm not gonna make this body wrong. Um, I've had too much of that in my life. I, the world subscribes to that. And if I actually look really objectively out in the world, like there's a lot of stuff in the world that people think is normal. They think is okay, but it's not life affirming and it does harm. So what am I doing believing in it or believing that it will make my life better either? And so that's what gives me hope that people can unlearn and make peace with their bodies is that even if in this environment of worry and angst about body size for whatever reason, whether it's aesthetics, whether it's health. I trust the body more. I trust the body in terms of it knowing where it needs to be. If we just eat, <laughs> we just eat the food and let the body take care of itself, move our bodies, be doing life affirming things in life and fill our time with that. And I'm, I'm making this video kind of short and simple today, but if we are focused on what is good and the things that are from the past that are wounding we heal we heal those trauma wounds we do that work and we capture those thoughts of this body is bad and too much and it betrayed me and all the things we capture those thoughts and like no our body's here for some kind of good reason maybe I don't even understand it or know it yet but we'll figure that out and this body does not deserve that mistreatment, the, the vocal, verbal, mental dis mistreatment. And we can unlearn how to do that. So if you're having any struggles doing that, please reach out to me, I'd be happy to help. If you have found these videos this week around fat phobia and dismantling that helpful, please share them with people you know. And we will be doing our 8 a.m. in the morning on Saturday, coffee chat about all kinds of random things. And sometimes we go deep, sometimes we don't, but we just all get to gather together and you know, take some time to kind of have a focus for our day. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.